This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, have you ever used a render farm to do your animation render, or maybe even for a still render? Well, chances are you haven't, and the main reason for that is that a lot of people think that this is a very, very expensive and it's only done by major animation studios. Well, you couldn't be more wrong. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to walk you through the entire process of how to set up your scene, how to offer it to the render service, render out your scene, and just pay, you know, cents instead of tens or hundreds of dollars, okay? So uh, that said, let's jump in and check it out. Here we go. Okay guys, well, as mentioned in the intro, uh, we're going to talk about how to use a render service, okay? And we're going to do that in a few steps, and step one is to set up a scene in Maya, so we have something to render, and I'll quickly do that. I'm in my modeling menu, I'll take a polygon plane, hit R, scale that out, I'll take a polygon cube, W to pull that up, Oops. just my cube, there we go, yeah. And I'm going to hit R to scale that in and stretch that out and kind of turn that into a domino brick, if you will. And then we're going to move in here. I'm going to hit W to move that down, like so. Hit Control D to duplicate it, W to move it over, and hit Shift D a few times to copy it. Okay. I'm just going to move my floor underneath. There we go. And then I'm going to create a polygon sphere. And I'm going to pull that up. And that's going to be a ball that's going to knock down the dominoes. And you need to make sure that it's set up in a way that if you bring it down, it will actually hit the domino. And it will. Yeah, cool. So with that set, what we need to do is set up a number of fields and so forth. So let's quickly do that. What we'll do is we'll select our ball and our dominoes. And we'll go to the FX menu, we'll go to Fields and Solvers, and we're going to see, let's see, create Active Rigid Body, take the floor, and create Passive Rigid Body, okay? And then on the ball and on the bricks, we're going to add a field called Gravity, okay? Let's set this to 120 frames, that's about right. So now if we hit play, it should knock over our bricks and it does. Perfect. Okay, so that's our scene. Now, before we jump into Rebus Farm, what's important here is that you set up your scene as if you were going to render it on your own machine, okay? So I'm gonna to go to render settings. I'm gonna choose uh, Arnold as my renderer. Let's just uh, get rid of that, that's right. So Arnold as my renderer, and uh, let's see what else. I want the sequence to be rendered out in JPEG images, like so. I want it to have a, uh, let's see, a file name called, I don't know, test animation render service, whatever, okay? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm pretty much going to leave everything as is with the exception of setting up this here. So what I want is I want a name underscore followed by the number of that individual rendered image followed by the extension. So in this case, uh, test animation render service is the name underscore one and two and three and four and so forth dot uh, and the extension will be JPEG. And it seems that I miss, come on, I misspelled this. There we go. So that is all good. Okay, let's uh, play that again. It yeah, looks like I deleted something. I thought that happened. And it could be that gravity field. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, so I got that set up for rendering, and that's our setting up the scene part. And next, we are gonna jump into Rebus Farm and set up the software, okay? Here we go. Okay, so we're on the uh, rebusfarm.net website, and uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create an account and we're gonna install some software, okay? So I already have an account, so I'm just gonna log out quickly here. 
Okay, so what you want to do is click on the login button and then you're going to go to register. All right, you're going to fill in all your details and once that all is done, you're going to click on register. You will receive an email that you need to confirm and then you will have a username and a password and you'll be able to log in. Okay, so I'm going to go back into the login button. I'm going to use the credentials I already have and I'm going to click on login. All right, cool. So this will bring you to this page here. And then what you need to do is install a piece of software that will enable plugins in your Maya um, environment. Okay, so we're going to go to the Let's Go button. We're going to click on Download Software. And we're going to click on Download for Windows. You can see here that there are a number of software uh, platforms supported. And I'm just going to click on Download for Windows. Now again, I already have this, but I'm going to do it anyway. It says, uh, what do you want to do? I want to save that. That's fine. I want to run it. And uh, we'll give it a sec. Uh, do I want to uninstall? Yes, because I already have a version. So you shouldn't get that image there yet. So that is all installing. And as a result, you will get a uh, pop up. And here we go. And I'm just going to use the credentials that I already have. And obviously you will use yours. My virus software is asking me whether I'm okay with that. And then it says installing plugins. Okay. So uh, yeah, it's installed. Cool. And uh, next step is to see what the results are of this install. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we're back in Maya. And as a result of our um, uh, account creation and software install, a couple of things happened. One is I got the Rebus from tab up here. And when I click on it, I got this button. And two is that down here, I have a Rebus button as well. Now, when I uh, hover over that, I can see number of jobs uh, paused, queued, running, finished, and I can also see the render points that I still have, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply go up and hit this button, and I will get this pop-up menu, and it will ask me to do a couple of things. One that I can do is click on Smart Check, and it will check my scene to see if it's okay to be uploaded. I know for a fact that it will give an error and I did that on purpose. So let's just uh, click that. There we go. And a couple of things it says, okay, uh, so please save your scene first. So we absolutely have to do that, right? And then it says animation is disabled, frame animation extension must always be set up, okay? So two things that we've got going on here. So I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna go to file and save scene as, and I'll call this test animation one yeah there we go and i'll just save that on my desktop and the second thing is if you go into our render settings and let's see uh where do you go where do you go i need to set up my range here where is it where is it Just give me one sec, guys. Yes, of course. So here I got the name extension single frame. It's not a single frame, it's an animation. So name underscore, this is the one I want. And then I want start frame one and end frame 120. Okay, so when I close that and I hit that button again, I shouldn't get any errors. Smart check and there we go, all right. So we're all set. It's time to uh, upload our um, scene. So here we go. Upload started. Good. We'll give that a sec. Upload finished. Pretty cool. And I'm just going to click on that. Okay, it's fetching projects. There's one that I did previously, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, and this is the scene that we just created. Test animation one, and um, that's what we're going to work with, all right? 
So a couple of things you can see here. Uh, first of all, uh, the 7th of December, I sent this at one minute past one. The name of the render job is test animation one. Uh, 120 frames, zero have been rendered so far because it didn't start to render yet. As far as the job priority, I have the option to select anything from economy to uh, premium uh, plus five, which is obviously way more expensive, but it will be super, super fast. I'm just gonna go with the economy, that's fine. Uh, the cost uh, calculated in render points. Here is my render point um, wallet, if you will. A render point is at current time about 1.07 US dollars, okay? So uh, 10 render points is a little less than $11, okay? Just so you know. Here is the folder where my uh, files will end up. This is the play button to start my render. This is the X to stop my render. This is my progress bar, and here you have some support buttons, okay? So let's just uh, simply click on start the render. Okay guys, looks like our render is uh, complete and now it's time to check out the output and see what it came up with. Okay, here we go. All right guys, well here you can see the output. Um, it created a, um, a nice uh, folder for that and you can see that all our uh, JPEGs have uh, nicely been uh, positioned in this folder here. Okay, so it worked like a charm. Now, there are two more things that I need to explain to you guys. One is how to get actual render points, and the second one is how do you calculate your estimated cost before you actually start to render, okay? So that's what we're gonna do next. Here we go. Okay, so we're back on the Rebus Firm render site, um, render service site, sorry, and we're gonna go up to the Let's Go button, and first I'm gonna look at um, calculate cost, okay? So how does that work? Well, um, it's first of all, it's a rough estimate, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by selecting what type of uh, pricing do you want? Do you want just economy or do you want it to be, you know, quicker, faster and so forth? And the more you go up, the more expensive it gets, obviously. It's uh, 3.1 cents, 4.2 cents, 5.3. So I'm just gonna go with economy, okay? So is your project an animation or a single frame? And if it's an animation, what is your frame count? Well, it's 120, as we know. And how long does it take to render one individual frame on your system? And that's really important. Now I tried that, it's 0 0.3 minutes, okay? And uh, that's what it's gonna calculate based on. I did that uh, with my workstation. And here you can uh, select what type of CPU you got, what the speed is, and so forth. Now, I just went with a random setup here, okay? But you're going to put in your information. And based on the calculation, it says that it will cost me roughly uh, $34. Cents. Now, you saw in reality that it's much less. It was actually something like $0.11. Cents. So just to give you an indication that it's not, you know, ten dollars fifty dollars whatever okay now the next thing i wanted to show you guys is how you buy render points if you select that and uh, apparently i already have enough render points but it doesn't really matter so i'll just go up here and i'll do it here so buy and then go to standard so i got the option to buy render points here and if i click on buy now you will see that one render point is one dollar and seven cents and I can just put in the number that I want, for example, 10, and just uh, hit next and put in my uh, details for payment and it will add it to my account. So that's all there's to it. So hopefully this uh, opens some doors uh, for you guys in relation to using uh, render services online. Um, and uh, that's all there's to it. So if you have any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.